We're now ready to go ahead and install our timing cover. Now we went ahead and opened up our Felpro gasket set or our seal set for this and we used part TCS45982-1 and we have those sitting out here. We have all of our fasteners as well as our torque wrench we're going to need and our sockets and I'll go through the different fasteners here for you here shortly and the sockets but the first thing we want to do to get things prepped is we want to go ahead and install our seal into our timing cover now on the factory service manual they show this being done with the timing cover on the motor however we don't have the factory tool that actually presses it into place we're going to have to tap this into place and i didn't want to wait and do that with our seals installed and our gasket maker i didn't want that to affect that so we're going to do that first now and then we'll set it into position then we'll do all of our fasteners let me show you how we're going to do our seal now our seal here has to be pressed in through the front of our timing cover however due to the design of the seal you have to have something that actually pushes just on the outer lip that's metal here to get it into place so i looked around my garage here i couldn't find anything that fit that perfectly that would enable us to actually press that into place so i ran down to my local parts store and i picked up actually this master ball joint kit and funny enough it has the parts in there it has this cup here for a ball joint and i'm going to bring you in closer and show you but it fits perfectly on the diameter of this seal so now we'll be able to set that into place we'll add this up on top and we can now tap that into our timing cover here's our seal here and you'll see how it has that ring so this cup actually just fits perfectly over that and we have a nice tight fit and then we'll just add this to it and now we have something we can actually tap on with our hammer to put it in place now before we do we're going to take just a little bit of a scotch bright pad clean this out a little bit and then just a small film of oil on there if you will to help lubricate it and we'll tap this into position Now the whole key here is we want to do our best naturally to keep this level as we install this through here. So I'm going to go ahead and set this in here. We'll go ahead and place our spacer or our cap and we'll start to tap it into position. I'm not sure how this table is going to work. We may have to set it on the floor. And that looks really good. Now, as you saw there, I actually found it easier because it started to get just a little bit crooked in there to actually remove this part and just kind of work it around. You'll have to see what works best for you. Uh, but I was able to actually get that set in there and we're just to where we're flush with our surface and we're looking really good. So we're gonna leave that for now and we're able to now go ahead and install our timing cover. Another method that I've used to install these seals is I'll take a punch like I have here, but it's got like a flat or a square face to it. And I will carefully knock out my existing seal so that I don't damage it and take it out of round. But naturally it then will fit perfectly over your new seal. And what you can do is then take that and use your mallet and then tap your new seal into position using your old seal as the spacer to hit on so it doesn't damage your new one. This is a great alternative. Earlier in our build, we prepped these surfaces using a Scotch-Brite pad and a Rolock disc in my cordless drill.
now before we actually install the seals we're going to go through one last time wipe them down get any large oil residue and then follow that up using a cotton swab that been soaked in alcohol to make sure all oil residue has been removed ensuring a tight seal so now with our crank seal installed we're ready to go ahead and start installing the seals for our timing cover so we'll go ahead and flip this over and this is actually pretty simplistic here. Now your longer one is gonna go here in your V and then you have these two over here. And by the way, they are special to each side. So you'll just have to lay them out and make sure you get them set into the right side. They're gonna fit down in this groove. You wanna just press those in as you go. You don't wanna rub it. You wanna press them in as you go along. All right, now we're ready to go ahead. Now, I thought I would lay these out here. These are the fasteners for our timing cover, and I'm gonna give you a close-up of that now in terms of where they all go. But we have five here, we have three here. These are the smaller size, these are a 13 millimeter. Then we have five that have the washers, and these are an 18 millimeter, and then you have two that are the larger studs that don't have the washers. These here are 22 millimeter. Now before we place our cover, we need to take our ultra black gasket maker, and we're gonna put those where our block and our head come together. So we have a place here, naturally on this side as well as here and over here. Now you will also do that down here where your oil pan and your block and your cover come together. However, we haven't installed the seal yet for our oil pan or our gasket. So we will put the gasket maker down here when we do our oil pan. For now, we're just doing these four points here. Now we can go ahead and install our timing cover. Here you go, Luke. Now you wanna be really careful. Kind of set it on the oil pan, if you will, and then slide it forward, keeping an eye on those dowels that are, and you can kind of also get an eye up here at how things are lining up. What we don't wanna do is move it around a lot and mess with our gasket maker. So go ahead. There it goes. I think you're lined up. Okay. So hold on to that just a little bit. And now we're gonna install our fasteners and we're only gonna do them hand tighten. And we're gonna do those in the same sequence that you will actually go back and torque them. So we will start here. And this here is our number one fastener. And it actually goes down here. And once again, we're just gonna hand tighten them. These are 13 millimeter. This is those fasteners again. You'll have five of them, 13 millimeter head. This will now go directly across from your number one. Number three goes at the base of your valley. Number four here. Number five will go here. These here are our fasteners for number six and seven. Number six is here, number seven is here. Now our next three fasteners are these that have the washers installed. And so I'll hand you this one here, Luke, and you're gonna start with number eight, which is right here. Number nine. Number 10 goes here. Now these here are the fasteners that will be the remainder in our series, which is 11 through 15. And we'll start out over here with number 11. 
Then we have number 12, 13, 14, and last but not least, number 15 over here. Now we're just gonna go through and hand tighten them with our little gimbal here. We're now ready to torque these all to spec. Now our factory service manual has this done in three stages. We're gonna do fasteners one through five at 18 foot pounds. So Luke has his torque wrench set to 18 foot pounds. Let's get him tightened. Stage two of our torque sequence is fastener six and seven. These you're gonna do to 35 foot-pounds. Luke has now adjusted his torque wrench to 35 foot-pounds. Now you're gonna keep your torque wrench at 35 foot-pounds, but we're gonna go back to our 13 millimeter socket because now we're on to number eight, and that is here, and these once again are 35 foot-pounds. Now for our fasteners 11 through 15, you'll go ahead and get back to your 15 millimeter, 11? Oh, yeah, and as you go, by the way, naturally as you tighten it, the ones that you put in already will be a little bit loose. You can go through and just tighten them down again so you don't have so much work to do with your torque wrench, but it's pretty easy. And we're good. Now, as always, go back through and redo all of these just to verify your torque. We're not gonna show you that here. You know how to do that. For those of you who need to do the fasteners between your oil pan and your timing cover, here are the torque specs to get that done. Now, you'll just wanna follow this sequence and you'll do it in three stages. In stage one, you'll tighten to 18 inch pounds. In stage two, 15 foot pounds and then as a final stage you'll tighten an additional 60 degrees make sure to subscribe and stick around here with us in the next video we're going to be installing the oil pan with new gaskets as always i appreciate you stopping by and thanks for watching